one thing any woodcarver needs to be able to do is sharpen their knives and sharpen them well. The way I think of it, there's basically two factors that play a role in sharpness of a blade. One is what I call keenness, that is kind of how smooth the blade is. As you carve wood, the uh, wood will start to kind of wear away some of the edge and it becomes a kind of a jagged uh, on a very small scale edge and so that stops being sharp stops cutting as well and so when you take it to the sharpening stone you remove some of the metal to make it a nice uh, straight smooth edge again and that's the keenness but the other factor that plays a role is the angle of the knife or the angle of the edge and you there's kind of a fine balance that if you have it too tight of an angle it becomes really weak easy to snap and if you have it too wide of an angle then it ends up being more of a wedge than uh, a nice cutting tool and you know for cutting angle you can think of the back of the blade here the spine you know the, the keenness is nice and smooth so it's a, a keen surface but obviously very dull, very flat, 180 degree angle basically if you want to think of it that way. So both of those factors have to be in play in order to make a knife cut through wood very well, which is obviously a, a goal for chip carving. And one aspect of that then is when you sharpen your knife, making sure that you are sharpening it at the right angle. And I've got these two knives here as an example that you can see if I angle it right. The secondary bevel, the, the cutting edge basically, on the knife on the right is good. You can see there's a bit of a thickness there, uh, I don't know, maybe a millimeter thick of that bevel. And so that's been sharpened properly, keeping that angle. The knife on the right, you can almost not even see that secondary bevel at the end, that it's just so uh, small. And what that means is that as the knife was sharpened, it was laid down too flat on, or rather it was uh, brought up as, as it's going. You know, here's 90 degrees, perfectly flat. We want to be up a little bit to match that angle, but if you lift the knife too much, then you start wearing away the edge and you're not actually sharpening that whole bevel. So you want to make sure that when you sharpen, you're following that bevel exactly and not creating a new micro bevel, not just wearing away the edge, but making sure that you're sharpening evenly that whole bevel. And this is a sign that you might not be doing that when you get a knife like this that's got um, a very small cutting edge. And again, as that happens, what it's doing is it's making the angle of that blade wider. And so you can think of the if this is looking at a cross section of a blade, if you have a nice tight angle like this, it's going to kind of drive through the wood really well. Whereas if you have a broader angle like this, it's acting more like a wedge. It's kind of like an axe. Even if you sharpen an axe, it's a broad angle like this. And so it's not really slicing through the wood. It's wedging. It's getting between the grain fibers and splitting them apart. And that's exactly what we don't want to happen with wood carving. We want to make sure that we're slicing through the grain evenly. So as you sharpen your blades, make sure to uh, use that uh, angle that's already there and uh, make sure you're not changing to a, a too fine of an angle, which can uh, make it prone to damage and uh, snapping the blade or making it too blunt of an angle and act like an axe wedging the grain apart.